As most of you know, if the Las Vegas Raiders can't get interior defensive line prospect Jalen Carter, I want corner prospect Christian Gonzalez. You can see my evaluation on him right after this video if you keep it here. His size, length, and athleticism are a natural fit for the press man coverage the Raiders love to run. The Raiders also have a couple of corners with the versatility to allow Gonzalez to move all over the field to get the right matchup. Nate Hobbs was doing well the first four games of the season outside after playing well in the slot as a rookie. His average coverage grade over that time was 71.1 and he gave up a passer rating of only 75.6. Then he broke his wrist in week 5 and was never the same when he came back. His average coverage grade fell to 51.9 and he gave up a passer rating of 125.4. He'll be back healthy while Tyler Hall stepped up and did well mainly in the slot but outside as well. He had a coverage grade of 86.3 and gave up a passer rating of 56.3 in this small 7 game sample size. So it looks like the Raiders have the right corners to put around Gonzalez. Let's start with Hall who doesn't have enough tape at all to have bad tape. You gotta play the run from the slot corner spot and Hall does that well. Sometimes he slips right through the cracks to make plays. And when it's short yardage, he will stick his nose in there. He is small, so on this play, he gets ridden out of the hole, but he stays on the hustle and makes a play down the field to stop things from getting worse. Here he's gonna step right into that gap the running back is going through, just like a linebacker. He can also make plays as a blitzer from that position. Hall is also a good tackler in the passing game after the catch. That comes in handy because you don't want to see receivers go to the house from long distances after the catch. Here he's going to start off in coverage and he's going to bring down Latavius Murray, a big running back after the catch. Now this is going to be a nice tackle on the tight end in the open field. And he's going to get this one done all by himself. Here he is again, he's a reliable tackler in the open field. Now here's a screen to Christian McCaffrey that he's going to make a big play out of. Hall's gonna stop this bad play from getting worse. Now we go to coverage. He gets a good break on the ball in zone. Almost came up with that one. Now he's in zone again and this time the scramble drill is coming. He's gonna find a man and plaster to him. Safety Trayvon Mary is going to get his hands on the ball there, but Hall left no room for it on the other side. Here he's in zone again, and in the scramble drill, he's going to go after the quarterback, but still end up getting his hands on the football. Now he's in man coverage. He can do that too, and he's going to stay right with his man on the corner route. Here, the San Francisco 49ers are going to try him deep, but nope, he's not having it. Hall should be the slot corner as he looked good there last year. You can't move him around according to the matchup though. Now we move on to Hobbs in the bag. He can't handle speed without being able to touch him at the line of scrimmage, but that was hard to do with the cast on his hand. He can get a little impatient and commit too soon too, and that gets him in trouble. Free safety Deron Harmon has his back on this one though. He really struggled coming back from that wrist injury. He even had problems playing the ball. On this one, he's not even looking for the ball at all. This one he got a little too nosy on that short route. He should have been back deep in the zone.
Now for the good, Hobbs was a slot corner last year, so tackling is not a problem for him. If you're a running back going outside to his side, he's coming up looking for that work. And this play here is going to be easy work because he's not fooled by this reverse. He has good size and length too, so he's coming through receiver's blocks. And he stays patient, so he's ready for when the running back cuts back to him. Huey does a good job of taking on the block with his inside shoulder to keep his outside shoulder free to make the play. And Hobbs is also a good tackler in the passing game in open space. Here is just him and the running back in plenty of space and he makes the tackle. Here's some typical Andy Reid crap to get it to one of his fast guys in space. But Hobbs has a beat on it and gets it before too long. Here we have an empty backfield and running back out wide. They're going to get it to him short and Hobbs is going to make the stop. Here we have tight end action and one guy misses the tackle and he doesn't. Here's the receiver screen and he's going to get off a block to make the play. Now we're in coverage. Here he is in press man before the injury. He was disruptive through the release all the way to the catch point there. Here he's an off man he's going to show some route recognition and make a beautiful play on the ball. Here, he's not going to let a tight end beat him across the field. And here, he's going to close in on receiver Brandon Ayuk as he tries to beat him across the field. But nope. The denial. This is going to get called back, but Hobbs does a good job of running the route with the receiver and coming up with the football. Alright, whoever head coach Josh McDaniels and GM Dave Ziggler decide to pick in the first round this month, I'll be good with it as long as they have a plan for him and execute it. But if they can't get Carter, I sure hope they get Gonzalez because he fits in every way there is to fit. The Raiders run a lot of press man which fits the size, length, and athleticism Gonzalez has. And in Hall and Hobbs, they have the right corners for him to play with. They all do slot corners that can play outside as well. So Gonzalez will be able to play on each side or the slot depending on what matchup the Raiders want. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you next time.